Okay, uh, this is Dr. Ezi, and this is the last uh, session of Polytrauma uh, Station. Uh, it's a pathology station in the MRCS Part B exam. And uh, uh, actually, uh, this uh, session will be about two important definitions. And most probably, the examiner will close the station by these two definitions. These two, de two definitions are not related to the station, are not related to each other, okay? And uh, we are uh, going to explain them in a good way. So uh, the first definition here that uh, you are going to be asked is uh, define osteoporosis. Okay, this is the first question. And here actually I'm going to tell you everything about osteoporosis that you should say in the exam and because it is long so most probably the examiner will stop you and we go to the next question if he feels that you are really confident and you know the answer okay so uh, first of all it's a disorder as we know we should start in the right way it's a disorder the first word you say a disorder in which the bone becomes increasingly porous and brittle and subject to fracture okay it's subject to fracture it is uh, po uh, porous and brittle and subject to fracture i will give you the keywords that you will not forget okay and this is owing to why this is due to okay loss of calcium and other minerals okay this is the reason of what of osteoporosis this is the cause this is the reason okay so the reason of osteoporosis is the absence of some minerals in addition to uh, absence of calcium or loss of calcium okay so uh, uh, what are the you, you this is the definition it is it is a disorder in which the bone or the bones become increasingly porous and brittle and subject to fracture okay and uh, this is owing to or due to loss of calcium and other minerals okay or other mineral, mineral components as you wish to say okay so this is the main definition fine if the examiner is still looking at you and wants you to continue in speech okay you will tell now the symptoms or the signs okay so what are the results of osteoporosis this should be included in the definition if he is waiting from you the full answer so uh, this was, this uh, uh, the loss in calcium and, and minor components which led to osteoporosis will result number one in pain okay bone pain it will result in decreased height the person will become shorter okay and uh, there may be some uh, uh, what we call it uh, skeletal deformities okay these are the results of osteoporosis fine well so uh, you added this also you mentioned to the to the uh, examiner that it's a disorder in which the bone becomes increasingly porous brittle and subject to fra uh, subject to fracture owing to loss of calcium and other uh, minor components and uh, there is uh, it results in pain decreased height and skeletal deformities and the examiner is still looking at you and waiting for you to complete your answer so you are going to tell him what are the most common causes or, uh, or why where who are the people who will be uh, more predisposed to 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 uh, to osteoporosis okay so uh, here uh, you are going to mention in addition to that it is common in older people okay in general fine it is uh, more common in post menopausal, menopausal, 
proposal, ladies or women, okay, ladies, okay. Uh, this is the the most common. Uh, these are the most common people who will get older people or postmenopausal postmenopausal people, uh, ladies. These are both old, okay. And uh, it is also common and associated with long term steroids. And this is the point here. He wants this steroids, long term steroids is a common cause for osteoporosis. You have to remember this. And uh, it is also common in some endocrine diseases. Okay. Fine. So in this way, you will tell all the uh, all the data that is needed from you. So uh, it is more common in older people, postmenopausal women, and long-term steroid therapy and some endocrine diseases. Okay. So to make it short together, it is a disorder in which the bones become increasingly porous, brittle, and subject to fracture, owing to loss of calcium and other mineral components. Uh, it results sometimes in pain, uh, decreased height, and skeletal deformities. It is common in older persons, primarily the postmenopausal ladies, and it is also associated with long-term steroid therapy and certain endocrine uh, disorders finished okay we will go to the last question in this station and they will ask you uh, please uh, define uh, vercus triad this is not related to anything also but as, as I told you uh, they are trying to test you in everything in a short in a short time so vercus triad what is for define vercus triad okay and the definition here is that these are three broad categories of factors that are uh, the, that are thought to contribute to thrombosis so there are three factors okay that are thought to contribute in thrombosis okay this is the definition fine so they will ask you what are these three factors and here before we go continue you have to remember that there is a you know that already but just to put it in your mind okay so uh, there is thrombosis and there is clotting okay and vercus triad, triad actually work or uh, they uh, positively affect or aid in uh, thrombosis thrombosis is the pathological process and clotting is the physiological process thrombosis occurs inside the vessels and clotting occurs outside the vessels okay so what are these three factors okay we'll tell the vercus triad now in factors number one it is hypercoagulability okay okay oh hypercoagulability okay number two it is uh hemodynamic changes hemodynamic changes and hemodynamic changes here means that there is either a stasis uh, or there is a turbulence both aid in uh, thrombosis turbulence okay and the third factor is an endothelial uh, injury or dysfunction okay so these are the three factors that uh, will, will, will uh, will cause thrombosis and they are called vercus triad hypercoagulability stasis and turbulence they are called hemodynamic changes and endothelial uh, injury or dysfunction so these are uh, the uh, questions of this station 13 sessions to finish the whole station uh, study it well and you will do well so i will see you in another new station thank you very much